Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to talk about the story Button Button. It is written by an American author Richard Mathewson. Richard Mathewson is as I've just mentioned is an American author. Unfortunately he died in 2013. The basic or something very important about Richard Mathewson is that most of his works they were turned into motion pictures and I'm sure some of you might have watched the film I am legend this famous film was made four times on his story I am legend and Richard Mathewson wrote the story in 1954 some of his major works are The Shrinking Men, Man, Hell House, What Dreams May Come, Bid Time Return, A Stir of Echoes and Button Button. All these have been turned into motion pictures. The major theme of his work is regarding a man's struggle against nature and natural forces inside him and outside him. The male or female major character in his story is struggling against the inner forces of a man inside and the outer forces of the nature. Just like a Greek tragic hero the major character or the main character of his stories they fall into bad luck or tragedy because of some very innocent act of theirs. Now we are going to look at the major characters of the story. The first one is Norma. Please remember that Norma is a heroine of the story rather she is the only most important character of the story she is not like the traditional heroine which we see in our movies and dramas she is shown as a hard working woman but she behaves like a very traditional housewife she has a very repetitive life she is shown doing the household work all day, looking, going to the office and looking after her office work as well. The mysterious box, it represents Norma's curiosities and temptations. Like any person, she is also tempted by anything unusual which appears in her way. She is shown as a woman who wants to have a comfortable life. She wants to do away with the hardships which are coming in her life every day at every step. In the beginning, her curiosity of that mysterious box, they are innocent. But later, that curiosity changes into something evil something one of the seven sins greed overpowers her and she presses the button in the end she did not remain true to her husband and she had to suffer her husband had stopped her from pressing that button but she ignored his instructions and she had a great loss that is she lost her husband she never thought that death would knock her own door and she is a representation of her own desires as Socrates says he who is not contented 
with what he has would not be contented with what he would like to have in contrast her husband arthur is shown as not a greedy person now talking about arthur who is the next major character of the story he is again a middle class man living in new york with her with his wife he is leading a normal life with his wife norma coming and going to the office staying in home having some aspirations for the future or a more comfortable life but he is shown as a more strong person as compared to his wife norma arthur is understanding intelligent modest and a hospitable man for him wrong is wrong and right is right for him there are no gray areas black is black for him white is white for him there are no ambiguities in his thoughts or in his mind or in his life when he is given the choice to press the button at the cost of someone else's life and getting the money he refuses point blank he cannot even think that he should do any such thing arthur he is taking the offer as a practical joke he is not impressed by the offer as he is not greedy unfortunately he is the one who suffers because of his wife's greed when norma presses the button arthur not being the greedy one loses his life and his insurance money comes to his wife as 50000 dollars the third character is mr stewart mr stewart is the strangest character in all the three he appears from nowhere with an offer Mr Stewart can be portrayed as the personification of greed and evil desires that come and cross the way of us moral human beings all the time Mr Stu Mr Stewart is the only villain in this story he is shown as an agent of an international organization he sends them a package with a written message and then visits them he gives norma a mysterious box and explains that if she presses the button then she will receive 50000 dollars but the consequence is that a random person that she that she does not know will die she is the person she he is the person who gives this offer and norma is the one who is accepting that offer he thought that norma was an easy prey for him because she wanted to have 50000 dollars he seems to be an expert in the psychology of the women that they are tempted very easily to offers like that students now we are going to look at the summary of the story button button this is a story of a middle class couple living in new york there are three major characters in the story first one is norma second is her husband arthur and the third one is a mr stewart who will come to meet them the story begins as norma she arrives home after a long hectic day in her office she finds 
an interesting packet lying on her doorstep. It has a wooden box covered with a glass dome and inside the dome is a button. She takes that packet to her husband and they discover that there is a card which says that Mr. Stewart will come to see them in the evening. Mr. Stewart arrives in the evening and they have a meeting. He tells them that if they press that button, they will get $50,000. But the catch is someone somewhere in the world will die. That person who dies will be unknown to the person who presses the button. On this, Arthur throws that man out of their house and he throws that box away too. Later, Arthur and Norma, they have a discussion and Norma is slightly tempted to pick up the box and to fulfill some of their requirements but Arthur refuses. Norma is in a moral and mental dilemma. There is a conflict going on in her mind. When Arthur leaves the next day, she picks up that box and brings it inside. She is contemplating what to do with that box, whether to press the button or not. This idea is lingering on in her mind. Then she talks to Mr. Stewart on phone again and she makes sure that when she presses the button, the person who dies will not be known to her. Mr. Stewart gives her a lot of assurity and confirms that when she presses the button, the person who dies is going to be unknown to her. She takes this major step and presses the button. Nothing happens. Nothing. But on the same day, after some time, she receives a phone call that her husband has died in an accident and she has received $50,000 as his insurance money. In anger and in resentment, this poor woman, she calls up Mr. Stewart and asks him. Mr. Stewart's reply is, did you really know your husband? The way the story ends is very strange for the reader and a big surprise as well. Now my question to you is students, can you guess or can you tell whether Norma was right in doing this or was she wrong? If you were in her place, what would have been your reaction to this offer of pressing the button and as a result someone was going to lose their lives?